Hello and welcome to 8th Java training tutorial. As usual, we are going to focus on aspects of Java which are very essential to be able to work with Selenium. But you can also use these programs if you just want to learn Java to be able to work with any other testing activity, for example, API testing or any other activity. So let's see what we are going to learn in this session. In this session, we will have a look at collection framework, which is one of the most important framework. We will see code collection interfaces. We will see list set map, some of the most useful collection methods like size, is empty, iterator, uh, etc. And then we will introduce array list, hash set, hash map. And at last, we will see how we can iterate through collection that is through for each loop or iterator. All right, so let's begin. So let's come to the first topic, which is collection framework. So collection framework is something which as far as I know is existing in Java since version 1.4 and it has a collection interface at the top of the hierarchy and then it has a couple of more interfaces which are derived from collection for example set list queue dq etc and then we have another important uh, uh, well i cannot call it collection uh, because map is not really a part of collection framework but it's it's, it's an entity or it's a collection in itself though it is not part of collection framework so we will also have a look at map interface now we do not have to learn all the interfaces and classes in collection framework. We would mostly have to focus on three important interfaces and these are list, set and map. So these are the interfaces which we are going to focus on. So let's begin with list, how list works. All right, so this is our old Java project and herein I have added a package called collection and then I have couple of classes here. By now we should all know how we can add package and collection, uh, sorry, not collection classes to a package. So let's see our first array list example. Let me close other classes. All right. So let's see what's happening in this. So in array list example class, I have a main method as usual. And then I'm creating an array list here. How do we do that? We had seen array list in our previous session, but I had mentioned that we have not introduced collection. So this is the time when we are learning the collection. So how do I create an instance of array list? So I uh, I have the list interface here and then I say a string in angular bracket and we saw this is generic in our previous session so it means the collection array list can only hold a string type of objects and then I have array list which is the name of the collection I can name it anything whatever I want I have just named it array list here and then I instantiate it using new array list all right so here array list is a class which is an implementation of list interface for example if i go to the definition of array list class we can see it here this is the definition of array list yeah and it says that it implements the list interface along with some other interfaces of course all right so this is how we can instantiate an array list and here we are assigning array list to the base class we are not assigning it to array list and this is something what we had learned in interfaces this is polymorphism all right so now we have an array list or we have a collection which can hold a string object so let's add some elements to it so how do we add elements to array list we say array list dot add following the element which we want to add so i have added three string objects here selenium web driver and the web driver again so if you see here we have two instances of web driver here but what it means is that in array list we can add duplicate values all right so let's go ahead and try to use some basic methods some base methods uh, so first let's print the size of the array so how do we do that we use the array list object say dot size it will give us the size of the array list uh, this is a list so i should rather write array list here now if you want to check whether array list is empty or not then we say array list dot is empty which will return true or false depending on whether we have added elements in array list or not and then we can also check if array list has a specific element for example if i want to check whether array list contains web driver which we know it contains because we added it here then we will say array list dot contains so it will return true or false all right let's come little down let's see how we can loop through values in array list so there are two ways to do this one is a for each loop we had seen syntax of for each loop earlier also how do we write this we say for the type of object which we have in array list we know they are all a string so a string str colon array list and then we print the elements 
in the array list. So each value in the array list would be assigned to str object and then we are printing it. There is another way to iterate through elements in array list which is using iterator object. So for now we can assume or we can uh, understand that an iterator provides an object which is used to iterate over an array list and how do we do that? It is described here. We have to instantiate an object of type iterator. Now we know that our array list contains only a string object. So we should create an iterator object which has which is generified with a string. Now array list object can be used to create an instance of iterator. How do we do that? We say array list dot iterator. So this method is available in array list class which would give us an iterator object. And then we can iterate through array list as long as iterator object has next as long as array list has next element now how do we find next element we say iterator dot has next which would give us which would let us know whether there is a next element in array list or not so as long as we have next element in array list we keep iterating and how do we get to the next value if we want to fetch the next value of array list how do we do that we say iterator dot next so first we create the iterator object we find out whether there is next element or not and if it is there then we get it using the next method all right now let's see some other method how do we remove element from array list okay so we can use something called remove method and then we can remove an element from array list so we had added web driver earlier and here we are removing it after this i'm just printing the array list again let's see how we can add to array list so if we have two array list we can as well add them so let's create a new array list here. I have created a new array list here with the name new array list. And then I have added two elements to it called new array list dot add selenium grid and selenium rc. Now I will add this new array list to our old array list. How do I do that? I would do this by using add all method. So I would say array list dot add all following new array list. And now my array list is bigger in size. It has it it, it has all the elements from array list. Uh, new array list as well because I have added this new array list into my array list and at last I'm just printing these methods So let me try to let me try to run this program and see how it goes So This is the main method. I right click run And here are the results. So let me make it a little big and now we will see the results Okay, so first we added elements to array list. So this is non-trivial yeah, so we are printing values from here. So we find the size of the array by using ArrayList.Size method. Then we check whether it is empty or not. So false comes out here because it is not empty. And then we find out whether ArrayList contains WebDriver or not, which is true because we added WebDriver here. Let's see the next statement. This is a for each loop. So here we are just printing the elements of ArrayList. So this is the print statement. All elements are printed here. Then we have iterator we are using the iterator to print the elements in the array list and the same is being done here so selenium webdriver and webdriver are printed here and then we are removing an element from the array list and then we print again so let's see what happens here we removed webdriver here and if we see here we have only two values selenium and webdriver there were two webdriver and one webdriver is removed from here all right and at last we are adding to our array list so we had created a new array list and then we added new array list to the array list and then we are printing the array list so let's see what gets what what gets printed so we have selenium webdriver selenium grid selenium rc these are all printed because these all are elements of array list now all right so this was about array list array list which can contain elements of given type let's see another collection interface now which is set so couple of examples for set here okay how do we instantiate a set uh, so set is an interface and we have an implementation called hash hash set and then we can instantiate set using hash uh, well we cannot instantiate set we can instantiate hash set and we are assigning it to set which is an interface so we are instantiate instantiating a specific implementation but we are assigning it to the base class the rest of the implementations are very similar to array list but the difference here is that a set cannot contain duplicate elements. For example, I'm adding one, two, two here. So two is added twice. But when I print it, then we will see that we will get two only ones. And then I'm adding eight, six, and four. So let's see some more methods in set. 
for time being remember that set cannot contain duplicate elements so this is the difference between array list and set so now i'm using base methods here to find out the size and whether it's empty or not or whether it contains a specific object or not which is same as array list then i'm using for each loop which is again same the only difference here is we have integer object instead of set then we are using iterator here which is also same and then i'm removing a value and then i'm printing the hash set and at last what i'm doing is i have created a new hash set and then then i am adding these two values in the previous hash set so my hash set grows bigger these all methods are similar to the array list let me try to run it all right so it's all got printed now so let's see what's happening here so first is size of set which is 5 5 because one is duplicate value and hash set or set will not allow it so it will have only five elements is it empty no does it contain three yes uh, sorry it doesn't contain three which is why we have false printed here then we are iterating through array list so if you see here the values which are printed here are one two four six eight though we had added two twice it is printed only once because set does not allow duplicate values and then we are printing values using iterator then we are removing three let's see this statement so we remove three well looks like i never had three there yeah so it doesn't make any difference to the set because three was never part of it but in case you want to remove a value you can use remove method all right and at last we created a new hash set and we added 10 and 11 to it and then we added this new hash set to our old hash set and then we are printing the hash set so let's see this statement so this is the final statement where we have all the values printed because our old hash set has values from new hash set also so this was about hash set or set interface now let's see map so map you would usually be dealing with a specific implementation called hash map and before going into that let's understand what is a map map provides mapping between key and values so so far we were having the angular bracket and type of object only once but with map we will have it twice so one value represents the key another value represents the value so in case of this map i have key of type integer and i have value of type string now how am i instantiating my map i say map following the angular bracket which are generics and then name of the map which could be whatever name you want to give new hash map so hash map is an implementation of map and i'm assigning it to base class this logic of creating instance of a specific class and assigning it to base class is something which is very 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 elementary in hoops and we should all understand this all right so how do we add elements to a map so we use a method called put and then I have added one here, which is key value web driver, then two, which is key value selenium RC, then three, which is key value is selenium grid, and then again three, and then value selenium grid, selenium remote control. So we should understand one thing here that all the keys in map are set. And we understood or we learned earlier that set does not allow duplicate keys. It means when you add a new value with the same key, then previous value would be overwritten. So our map would eventually have only three keys and values we'll see it later all right so let's use some of the basic methods here so we are printing uh, the size of map here using size method then we find out if map is empty using map dot is empty method here and then we find out whether my map contains key 3 how do we do that there's a method called contains key and then i pass the key here which is 3 so map contains 3 so when we run this program we should get value true then we pass a value to it we find out whether my map contains selenium rc which is true because we added selenium rc here and then we find out whether it contains qtp or not and it does not because we did not add qtp and we all don't like qtp also isn't it we love selenium all right so let's see how we can iterate through values in the in a map uh, so if we want to iterate through values in a map what we can do is we can use for each loop but syntax is little different here well syntax is same but methods are little different here so map gives us a method called key set using which we can find out a set of given map now we know how we can use set 
to iterate how we can use set to iterate through values in a set. So we use a for each loop here and we know that in our map, which is named map, has integer key value. So we use for each loop here. We write for integer key colon map dot key set. And then I'm printing the values which are map key, which is key and map value. Now, how do we get the value for a specific key in map? So we use the get method here. We say map dot get and the key. It will give us the value for the given key. All right. Now we can also remove a specific key from a map. How do we do that? We can say, we can say map dot remove and we can pass the key to it. After this, I'm again printing the values in the map to find out you know what has changed in the map. Now let's see how we can add two different maps. So I have created a new map here called hash uh, new hash map, which again contains integer and a string. And I have added key 10 value test link, key 11 value j meter. And then I'm adding it to my old map. How do I do that? I say map dot put all following new hash map. So this will combine new map to my old map. So my old map will have more values now. Here again at last time printing the values in the old map. So let's run it and see how it goes. All right, so it's all printed now. So let's begin here. So first base method. So map size is three, which is right. Though we added four values here or we put four values here, it is only three because we duplicated three twice. So map would not allow duplicate keys, the point to be noted. And here if you see, uh, all right, let's see later which value is contained, whether it is Selenium Grid or Selenium Remote Control. Okay, following this, we have is map empty, which is false. Does map contain three, which is true. Then we have map contains value selenium RC, which is true because map has selenium RC value. Does map contain QTP? No, that's not. Then we are iterating through values in the map. So I'm printing map keys and values here. So let's come down and see it here. So key is one, which is web driver, two selenium RC, third remote control. So if you see here, three was added twice, but the latest value is kept. Selenium grid is lost. So the latest value, if there's a duplicate key, then the latest value for the key will be kept. All right, then we are removing three and then we are printing the map key value again. So let's see what happens here. So we get only one, which is web driver, two, which is Selenium RC and three is removed from the map. Let's come down. Let's see addition of map. Yeah, so we have created a new map here and then we added it to our old map. So it means we should have 1, 2, 10, and 11 in map now. So let's print it and see. So this value is printed here. So we have 1 web driver, 2 selenium RC, 10 test link, and 11 J meter. That's all. So this was about collection and three most important in implementation of collection, which are array list, set, uh, array list, hash, set, and hash map. In the next session, we will see how these uh, classes or these implementations can be used with Selenium. So I hope you find this uh, session useful and if so then please click the thumbs up button and keep learning. Good luck with learning. See you in next session. Bye bye.